Hey guys, be sure to help us out and visit GreenManGaming.com. The code's on the bottom of the screen and it should save you 20% off. Thanks. Hey everyone and welcome to episode 12 of the Tech Lane. Uh, today we'll be talking about the Oculus Rift. It's coming. We're also going to give into uh, the Tesla Power Walls, what they are and what you can expect from them. We're going to talk about Mortal Kombat X's new PC patch and how it breaks the game pretty much. And also just give you a quick rundown of some new things up and coming in uh, either the tech or gaming world. So uh, I think we're going to start with, uh, we'll start with the Mortal Kombat X, right. Right, yeah. just because it's something small. Um, so for some of the PC players who have been playing Mortal Kombat X, you notice that obviously there was a lot of bugs and it wasn't on par with the console version, um, and which is funny because usually the console version is... It wasn't polished. It's, it's just like the game was shit, it kept crashing and... Um, I mean, on my computer especially, kept crashing and there was um, multiple um, online issues, connectivity issues. So, apparently they released a 15.8 gig patch on Steam. Or 15.18, it was 15 gigs, okay, it was, it was fucking monstrous. So, 15 gig patch, when they released it, it actually broke all the saved games. So, any saved games you had were destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah, um, It actually broke the game further, so some people weren't even able to, able to play it. So... Uh, they have actually since taken down the patch so they can investigate, but um, what the fuck man? <clears throat> Bought a brand new game for computer. Some people don't own a console. Some people are really excited the game came out I mean, I, I am I, I was I still am you know I still play it and the reason why you got it on PC too because you're like oh cool man There's gonna be modability. There's probably stuff that I can throw in here that you know the console junkies can't get it's gonna be awesome Yeah and right? you open it up. And then you open it up and it's the it's, just, it's like we got like the little shitty bastard child of the PC version, which, well, like, what the fuck, man? You know what I mean? It's like a hacked version of Mugen. It's like a hack, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> oh, man. So, um, they'll be coming out with a patch hopefully soon to rectify that one. Uh, next, Jordan's going to be talking about the Tesla Powerwall. All right. Jordan, go ahead. Now, we're all familiar with the Tesla cars. They're beautiful. They work great. And, you know, you can't help but just want one. But recently, Tesla, or Elon, Elon Musk, had the innovation and thoughts to take the technology that exists inside these cars and provide a solution inside of the house. And these solutions are called power walls. Now, there are very various different tiers of them, um, whether you're talking about a big business, an uh, industrial business, a small business, or even down to the consumer level. Uh, there is a direct consumer option, which comes in 10 kilowatts, uh, per hour or 10 kilo, oh, kilowatt seven, hours seven, or seven, seven kilo, kilowatt hours costs about five grand installation that's installation three, three to five grand and and that's but you're technically leasing it aren't you you're in yeah, for nine years nine years yeah so it's a nine-year lease and you're paying it's not a lot of money though I was looking at it the reason why I think it's pretty cool for the consumer use is because for example I have sleep apnea I have a sleeping disorder yep. um, I have to be you know near a power outlet every time I sleep uh, with this, I mean, I think that like the seven hour one covers you for like your whole house yep. for like what four hours or, th or something like that. And the 10 watt, 10 kilowatt and hours, it, well, five, six hours. And Anyways, it's, and it's all different depending on what you're going to do. Obviously, when you have a power outage and you're only on your battery, you're not going to be wanting to run your dryer. No, no, it, 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 make, it makes absolute sense. But I mean, for the necessities, like again, that to me is a necessity. Yeah. It's pretty great knowing that when I fall asleep, I'm not going to be woken up because I can't breathe. I know um, right. a close company with uh, Tesla is actually Solar City, and I believe it's run by either Elon Musk's brother or a um, family relative of some sort. Some, some affiliate. Yeah, and uh, they're actually partnering together, and they have a vision that these power walls will be sold with every solar solution so that it becomes an actual infrastructure. Sus sustainable. Sustainable. Um, Oh, uh, sorry, a uh, little sustainable system for your house that can actually take the power from the solar, store it, so that you can charge your Tesla car when you're sleeping from the solar power that you store while you've been at work all day. Yeah, so that to me is a pretty smart idea because technically if you did it that way, you would save stupid amounts of money by owning a Tesla. And and, and, and even the $70,000 asking price for a base model is yeah. nothing. And not only that, but also these are smart um, batteries in the sense that you can automate them, you can hook software up to them, and you can make it so that after a certain charge or after a certain uh, amount of energy stored, it automatically bypasses and throws it right onto your direct grid. Sure, it's, it's Tesla, man. That's like... 
That's like Iron Man of real life. I know. Elon Musk is Iron Man. So look out there. He's Tony Stark. If you're wondering, you're a little curious, find out what it is in your region, if it's available. Go out, go uh, take a look at Tesla. It's going to be right there. It's something that just came out in the last few we're, days. We're going we're to put the link to it in the, in the sources. Um, so what do we have next on the, on the line there, bud? All right. So we went through some MKX, uh, some Teslas. And now we can talk about either some stuff coming up in gaming or we could talk about the self-driving trucks. Um, sure, you, you have the self-driving. Actually, you know what? I'll talk about some stuff coming in gaming. So uh, when it comes to gaming, we have uh, Heroes of the Storm coming out, launching officially on June 2nd. Yeah, June 2nd, okay, June 2nd. With uh, the open beta? The open beta is actually coming on May 19th. 19th. There you go. So open beta is coming May 19th. Right now, uh, there's a closed beta. We are both in it. Um, again, if you didn't, if you don't know my thoughts on it, you can check last episodes. I kind of, um, you know, let you guys know, let everyone know what I think about it. Somebody who does not play MOBAs. Um, and we have um, Wolfenstein, like just came out today. Wolfenstein, I think it's called the the Old Blood. Yep. Okay, or the New Blood, one of them. Uh, that's coming out, or that just came out on Tuesday, I believe, or it's coming out on Tuesday. I have to double check that one. Um, Got the Witcher 3. The Witcher 3, that's coming out, man. That one looks fucking awesome. We're going to have the review on that one. Um, what else we have coming up in gaming news? Well, the Oculus Rift, okay? So the Oculus Rift uh, was actually talked about, and they finally launched a release window, a set of release window, of first quarter 2016. They also said it is not going to be cheap. No. They said it might also work with Xbox 360 and PS4, Xbox One and PS4, which is big. Because right now I think it only has uh, functionality with uh, with um, PC. Yeah. Right? Um, but I mean, like, which, like, so they're basically trying to crap on, on Sony style. Because well, well, right yes. now the Project Morpheus is going to release around the same time, okay? What they're doing though that's better than Project Morpheus is they're actually integrating Valve support into it. And with the amount of games that are apparent on Steam and the, um, the dev kits that are just openly in that inside that ecosystem it makes it that much more feasible for you to have lower price virtual reality sims or games offered at a mass quantity to people oh it's it's great like i i think it's a really good idea what they're doing i just i don't know if i'd pay like six seven hundred dollars for for it if project morpheus is going to be four hundred dollars because i'm sure there's going to be some kind of a pc dev kit um uh, for project morpheus or someone will be able to use it with a pc and then realistically speaking, I mean, Oculus put all this work in for what? No, it's it's very true. You know, you, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I mean, but they also have a backing of a huge company with billions of dollars, and and Sony doesn't. Well, and think not, about that, right? It, That's the yes, problem. It, yes, yes, you're right. Yes, Sony is a lot better at creating hardware than Facebook will ever be. Yeah, and we can't dispute that. No, but but Oculus as a company is really good. Okay, so far they've they, they've proven their track record. Okay, um, so moving on to the next one, uh, we're going to be talking about. Um, actually, you can go ahead and, and All right. touch on... Uh, just some uh, little news in the tech world that's uh, happening. I know that we've all heard a lot about you know, self-driving cars, the new, the new cars that are all going to talk to each other and drive you anywhere you need to go. Well, that's slowly becoming more of a reality, and what's actually going to happen probably in the next 10 to 15 years is you're going to see those technologies apply themselves to the big rig trucks. And the main reason is because they travel far distances with the least dense population of traffic, and it's also a lot easier and a lot more money to be saved for companies. So, and uh, I, I mean, I know that like normal truck drivers can only drive for a maximum of 14 hours legally, yeah. depending on the state or the province they're in. Um, now imagine well, these the ones, truck would never stop. Well, these ones, um, the way that it's being prefaced right now, um, uh, Freightliner just came out uh, with this self-driving level three aut autonomous car and level three is means that it can take some of the actual decisions out from the driver but the driver still has to be present okay. it is not a fully self-contained driving car just like a google car google car still needs in certain situations to have a driver it still needs to be provisioned by a human. So there's still gonna be a need for a driver, you're just gonna need less of them, and they're gonna be able to do longer hauls more efficiently at a lower engine, or at a lower cost. So this is where we're gonna see it come out. And I mean, it's a big news just, just for the fact that this is even being thought of, that we're taking industries which have millions upon millions upon millions of people inside of it, and we're actually thinking about shaking up, creating tech, as, as you know. 
the sole proportion for the labor. That's yeah, pretty cool. No, it's really cool. Keep your eyes out on stuff like that. And it's in Nevada right now that it's one of the states that's, you know. Well, it makes sense. I mean, a lot of a lot of Nevada is, is barren wasteland desert. So a lot of it is. I yeah. mean, I've been there many, many times. So, I mean, it actually would be pretty easy to test on, on, on tracks or empty roads or, or whatever they may have. So, yeah, that's what they're doing down in the... Uh, Nevada right now and hopefully that uh, sort of trends all the way up here and I know it's been trending all the way through the industries but here we hope to follow it in the next couple of years and see some of them cool so yeah. that's it I think uh, it's pretty good for the episode no yeah yeah so um, on the next episode we hopefully will have a review on the Microsoft Surface 3 um, either the Surface 3 or the Surface 3 Pro whatever we end up getting um, Anything else you want to see, just let us know. Please comment or like in the bottom. Uh, also, like as, as, as you can tell at the starting of the video, we now have a partner, Green Man Gaming. That's where we get all of our PC games from. Please go to them. Just use go. Just the go to them. Use the code. Buy games for yourself. We'll give you twenty percent off. Have you fun. save some money. They have a lot of we really cheap games money. too. Eh? So it's, it's check it out. Good. You know what I mean? It helps us out. And by helping us out, we are also getting review earlier review copies for PC, which is great. Um, that's it. Uh, so I think we'll see you on episode 13. Take care. Have a good one.